Welcome back. This is the Tutor Wizard. I'm Adrian. Please subscribe right here and hit the notification bell. You'll get notifications for this series and a bunch of others on our channel. We're doing Linear Algebra 1. Chapter 2 is Matrices. Oh, 2.1. Sorry. One is Introductory Definitions and Operations. This lecture, what we're going to do is define a quality of matrices, the transpose and trace of matrices, upper and lower triangular matrices, diagonal matrices, and linear operations of addition and scalar multiplication. Let's get to all of that stuff. Okay, for our first definition, we've got two matrices A and B of size M by N are equal if and only if all corresponding entries are equal. Thus, if we denote A by AIJ and B by BIJ, A equals B if and only if AIJ equals BIJ for all I and J. Let's take a quick example of that. Example one says A for part one is A, B, two, three, and B is five, seven, two, three. This is going to say that A equals B if and only if we have that A equals five and B equals seven. We have conditions and we can find when this happens. You'll see that we're going to use these types of conditions eventually in a proving certain types of statements. Again, similarly for part two, we have a is one, two, three, four, x squared five, and b is one, two, three, four, nine, five. And this says that a will equal b if and only if x is plus or minus three, because three times three is nine, and negative three times negative three is nine. Therefore, we get two values where they're equal. Let's do it with the next definition. Okay, next. Let A be a matrix of size M by N. Then the transpose of A denoted A to the T. This is not an exponent. This is just our notation, unfortunately. Is the matrix of size N by M obtained from A by making the rows of A columns of A transpose and vice versa. Let's try that in an example. This one's actually not that bad, but we need it eventually for an algebraic formula for the inverse of a matrix. If A is this matrix, this is a three by two matrix, three rows and two columns. What we do with this then is A transpose is the two by three matrix. So it's going to have two rows and three columns obtained from A by making the rows columns. So this row becomes a column, three, one. This row becomes the next column, zero, two. And this row becomes the next column, negative one, five. And this is two by three. Of course, when the matrix is square, B transpose is equal to the first row becomes the first column, zero, one, one. The next row becomes the next column, two, three, five. And the last row becomes the last column, eight, 13, 21. These are Fibonacci numbers. What we get is, and the last thing, what we should also notice from this is 0, 3, and 21 didn't move. The transpose pivots across the main diagonal. Therefore, sometimes diagonal entries are also called pivots of a matrix. Let's do the next definition. Let A n by n be a square matrix. Then the trace of A denoted TR of A is the sum of all the diagonal entries of that matrix. Therefore, if we denote our matrix by this guy, then the trace is A11 plus A22 plus dot 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 ANN. Let's do an example as usual. A is ABCD. If we have those variables, that says that the trace of this matrix A is A plus D. Here, if we have this matrix B, then the trace of A is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 8, which is 16. Next up. Okay, next is let A be a square matrix of size N. This time we have three things in the definition. More, more, more. We're almost done. A is a diagonal matrix if all the entries off of the main diagonal are zero. A is called upper triangular if all the entries below the main diagonal are zero. The information is in the upper parts. So we call it upper triangular if it's zero below. It's sort of opposite and you're going to get confused at first. We call it lower triangular if all the entries above the main diagonal are zero because the information will be in the lower triangle. 
let's do an example. Example four, let A be A, zero, C, D. Then this is the main diagonal. I have zeros above the main diagonal. This is above the main diagonal. And therefore, we call this lower triangular. For B, we have A, B, zero, D. This is the main diagonal. I have zeros below the main diagonal. This means that we have the information in the upper triangle, and this is upper triangular. And finally, we have this matrix, A0, 0, 0, D, everything above and below the main diagonal or everything off of the main diagonal are zero. And that means that this is a diagonal matrix. And coincidentally, a diagonal matrix is both upper and lower. So it is upper, triangular, and lower. Next. Right, this is Jasper. She wanted to come and say hi. I think she wants some food. Yeah, she wants some food. Okay, two more minutes. I know we're on the home stretch. So she wants food. You want to be done with this video? I want to do more. We'll co compromise two more definitions. Definition: Let A be a square matrix. Then A is symmetric if the transpose of A is equal to A, i.e., if all of our indices we have aij equals aji when we permute the indices we keep the numbers the same we'll do an example in a second and then similarly we call a anti-symmetric if a transpose is negative a i didn't do one which is anti-symmetric but you'll see some symmetric ones in a second a for example five if a is three one one four we notice that a transpose is equal to this row becomes the column three, one, and then one, four. So that is equal to A. So A is symmetric. Similarly, I transpose, this matrix will come up and be extremely important later, but I transpose is equal to this row is one, zero, and then this is the next. Oh, so that was I. So this is also symmetric. And sure enough, B transpose here, if you transpose it, is equal to B again. So this is symmetric. If you want anti-symmetric, then we do this. Ah. We do this. First of all, if you're cooking them up, cook them up correctly, then B transpose is equal to negative B. How do we know? Check this. If this is B, what's B transpose? B transpose is equal to, what do we get? This is our first row. We're going to get 0, 2, 1. Then this one will be negative two, zero, negative three. And then this will be our last row, negative one, three, zero, which is if we factor that out a negative out of every spot, we will get, and now change that. This will equal negative, pull a negative out of every single spot. And we're going to get negative zero, two, one, negative two, negative one, three zero negative three zero which is negative b i'll speed that up in the editing but there you go this is b transpose is negative b therefore this is an anti-symmetric matrix now uh, that ruined my quote so right here b transpose is negative b you can check but transpose of a transpose is the matrix again so what that says is if you take the transpose and then you transpose it again, you're going to get the matrix back every time. Let's do one more definition now, the linear operations for matrices, addition and scalar multiplication. All right, we're on the home stretch definition, last one for this video. Let A and B be n by n matrices. We have two linear operations, addition of A and B of two matrices of the same size. This is important is defined coordinate wise we say what that means is if this is a and this is b then a i j plus b i j is adding each of those corresponding entries we're going to do an example scalar multiplication of a matrix a by a real number k is k times that matrix is k times every component or entry of the matrix example six and then we're done if a is one two three four and b is two three five seven the first four positive integers and the first four prime numbers. And if k is 3, 
then adding a plus b is they're the same size so this is well posed and we add these two matrices by doing the coordinates 1 plus 2 2 plus 3 3 plus 5 4 plus 7 and we get the matrix 3 5 8 11 notice we're creating a new matrix of the same size from two given matrices then given a matrix and a number three times that matrix is going to give me three times every component and that gives me three six nine twelve two four six eight who do we appreciate please subscribe right here hit the notification bell we appreciate math wizards